Okie dokie. This is what we're working with here. These are wearable for you, horrible name, but these are .43 caliber black rubber balls. Got a hundred of them for I think like 20 bucks, something like that. But I'm hoping this one will work because these seem pretty dense. So right off the bat, they do look a little bit larger. I don't know if you can tell. I'm hoping they're gonna be loose enough tolerance as to where the rubber ball will fit. But yeah, that, that seems pretty dense. I'm gonna recommend putting some heavy grease on it. Not a petroleum-based grease because petroleum-based greases will decompose rubber and plastics and things. So it has to be synthetic. So this is sort of my experimental SimMagic Q1. I was able to keep it by way of Sim Racing Pros. So we're gonna take out the original ball. We're gonna see if this other one fits. Uh, the goal is to try to quiet this unit down for nighttime use if uh, you live in a you know an area where you can't be loud you know and right away it does not fit you know what let's let's push it in and see what happens we're gonna grease the hell out of it i think it seeded in there so if we could keep all the tactile feedback of this shifter and quiet it all the way down moment of truth holy shit <laughs> it works! Okay. The ball slipped out when I pushed it in more. So we do have some limitations here. You know, you can't just like go max tension. But it appeared like it was working. And yeah, the ball's like stuck right there. Let's see if we can get that out. Let's see if the ball is damaged at all. And... Yeah, okay. So that's what happened. The, the ball actually split in half. But we're on to something here. Just to let you know, in case you didn't watch my other video, you can just take the spring and standard ball out 100% and the unit still works fine. And you can, uh, you know, it does still have a little bit of sensation, not a ton, but uh, you know, you, you can feel when the, the shifter stops and it's a lot quieter. There are options besides modifying the unit. Just want to make that clear. Okay, now we're going to try some from AA Bud Inc. That's spelled A-A-B-U-D-D-I-N-C. I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to try this for yourself. But uh, we're going to pop one of these in here. These are actually steel cord rubber coated paintballs. They're the .43s. One millimeter too large, but they're rubber coated so they'll have a little bit of give. So when I place it in there, you know, when I squeeze it in there, once it gets past the threads, I think this will work. So we popped it in. Let's see. Oh, it's quiet. And it's still got the break. Give you a sound comparison. Now I did add some, uh, some grease. This is not synthetic grease. So this would actually break down rubber and plastic, but it's all I had on hand. And I figure, you know, this stuff's not going to be permanent anyway. So why not test it out? The straight up rubber paint balls, as you saw, kind of just split in half. So I'm hoping the, the sort of steel core reinforcement will make it to where that doesn't happen. I do have this on almost the lowest setting. The set screw, as you can see, is flush. It's not any deeper and it's not any higher. So that's what I would recommend to start off with. Um, I don't recommend putting a ton of pressure on this because I think the spring, you know, there's always like a sharp edge of a spring and that sharp edge I believe is kind of digging into the rubber, preventing it from rotating. So if you were going to do this, I would recommend finding something as like sort of a buffer in between the spring and the, uh, the rubber ball. I don't know what, just like a piece of plastic or something like that, that fits in there that, uh, you know, can be smoother than the, the hard metal steel spring. I'm just going to test it out with a right up against the spring to, to, to see how long this will last because you know, if this will last hours and hours and hours of, of heavy abuse, Maybe it'll be worth it to you. You know, maybe, like I said, maybe you have like a championship coming up. You got some family in town. They're trying to sleep and you have it scheduled for 12 o'clock, you know, midnight. And, uh, you know, you, you got to do your race, you know, and you can't be like slamming gears at midnight. You know, this will make it to where maybe it's a possibility. You know, you can because that, that's not that's not obnoxious at all. And I still have great sensation. And uh, yeah, pretty much the only, th only thing you can hear is the teeth. I don't know if you can see that in there, but the teeth that kind of move up and down, that's that's what you hear that click, that right there. That's just like the teeth, like kind of moving past that sort of a large, I wouldn't call it a gear, 
Maybe I'd call it a gear. I don't know, a cog. If the rubber did actually come off, it would just turn into a steel ball and still work. You know, this is just a sample pack. You can get these for, you know, four to ten dollars, something like that. And I figured I'd try to find something that's easy to find. So I'm gonna do some heavy testing with this, but it does seem to work. SimRacingPros.com. They're one of the reasons why I was able to make this video. Thank you to them and thank you to Sim Magic. Sim Magic will be sending me an Alpha Mini to test out and compare against the CSL DD. So stay tuned for that. But and this is on a wooden table, so if I like that, that's it that feels really good. Like the tactile feedback is still there. Like you, you can easily see the break here. Off camera, I just did 600. My method was I did 100 each direction and then I would check it, right? So I do 100 this way. Then after I get done with 100, I would check to see if there's damage. And then I would do 100 this way, all in a row. Figured it would be more of a brutal test because if you're going back and forth, you're kind of recentering it each time. Okay, that's 700. I'm trying to get to 1,000, because I feel like 1,000 cycles back and forth seems reasonable. If we get to 1,000, I'm gonna consider this a success. Other direction. Um, let's check the ball. I do see some damage, I think. I don't think it's helping. It's not in its favor that I'm cycling it so fast, but you can see, that there is rubber coming off, you know, there's a, a layer of rubber coming off. And it could be partially because this is not synthetic grease. So using synthetic grease will help in this situation because it won't be degrading the rubber on top of just like the constant abuse. 200 more. Okay, I think that's 900. Yeah, there's definitely damage, but maybe the damage will stop. Maybe it'll equalize or whatever stabilize after a certain amount of damage has been done to it because maybe she's trying to like fit into the hole better, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, the rubber is still intact. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show you a shift. All right. Still quiet. Still works as intended. Uh, still great feedback from the shifter. Like it feels good. I'm gonna call this a success. So if you want to try us out, like I said, go to aabuddinc.net, aabudinc.net. This will definitely add more maintenance to the piece of gear we're messing with here. But if sound and feel are number one and number two priority for you, this is a viable solution. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a future video.